Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Orchis Yosher. We just began yesterday the letter Chaf. And Chaf, we said, stands for Kas Ukepeda, which means anger and taking offense. We began describing yesterday how beloved the person is in the eyes of Hashem who does not get angry, who is able to stay calm and relaxed, how Kodesh Baruch Hu brings him close. But today Rav Chaim Kanievsky is going to begin to embark upon many different words of Chazal, our sages, who speak about what someone who is angry, how they look in the eyes of Hashem, and unfortunately in the eyes of others as well. Says, he's quoting over here the following, How lowly and despicable is the attribute of kas of anger. At Sha'amru, the Midrash tells us, anyone who gets angry, it's as if they are serving idols. They're an idol worshiper. How can that be? What does a person do who gets angry? You see him bowing down to idols. What, is, what does that mean? I believe that the simple explanation is that the reason a person is an idol worshiper, that they bow down to the sun, to the moon, to the stars, they make a little wooden idol and then they offer it some kind of flower offering or a sacrifice that they should that it should bring them blessing that they're asking for a person who worships idols is a person who does not believe in Hashem a person that doesn't believe in Hashem puts his faith into other things idols the rain the moon the sun so on and so forth and they have distanced themselves and they put themselves into the hands of nature and, the, and therefore, someone who gets angry, what are they doing that's similar to idol worship? It shows that they don't believe in Hashem. Why? Why does the person get angry? What triggers the, the anger and the intensity that, and the lashing out inside of us when someone gets us upset, when something gets us angry, when things don't work out the way that we expected them or intended them to work out, we end up getting angry. We, we blow our top, as they say. Well, what does that mean? That means I don't really believe that Hashem is running the world. Because if I believe that Hashem is running the world, no matter what a person does to me, no matter what they say to me, no matter what situation might arise or disappointment might happen in my life, I recognize that everything that is happening is coming from Hashem. So when I'm getting angry, who am I getting angry at? Am I getting angry at the person who cut me off in the car? Am I getting angry at the situation that transpired of why it is that I lost my job? Am I getting angry because of what one of my kids said to me or someone in my family did to me? Is that why I'm getting angry? If I get angry, it's because I don't realize how Kodesh Baruch Hu is the one that is pulling all of the strings and turning all the wheels in this world and everything is happening under his jurisdiction. And no one would be able to do anything to me that would be hurtful or quote-unquote wrong in my eyes unless HaKadosh Baruch Hu allows it to take place. If that's the case, by getting angry, what does it show? It shows, I don't really believe that Hashem runs the world because if I believe that Hashem runs the world, I would accept his decrees, I would accept the situation. I would accept maybe the pain that someone is putting me through. Why? Because I would recognize how Kodesh Baruch Hu obviously wants me to go through this. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. So why am I getting angry at that person? I'm not. I'm actually getting angry with Hashem. Rahman al-Zan, God forbid, to do such a thing. And therefore, call HaKayis. Anyone who gets angry, it's like he's worshipping idols. But um, when it says further, somebody who gets angry and they tear their clothes in a fit of rage, and they break their vessels, they have a beautiful crystal vase and they smash it on the ground. And he breaks it while he's in, in anger. Someone who just throws his money away in his fit of rage and anger. The same idea, you must look at this person as someone that is once again serving idol worship, not behaving the way that Hashem wants him to. Somebody who believes in Hashem behaves differently, he controls himself. He realizes it's not worth it getting so angry 
everyone is a messenger from Hashem. Everybody is helping to challenge me in the ways that are necessary to become the greatest person I possibly can be, to work on my patience, to work on my character traits, to work on my amuna, my faith in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Why am I getting angry? If I get angry once again, it shows I don't believe. And he concludes, V'amru, lo yevachayel zar. The verse says, there should not be a foreign God inside of you. And the sages expound upon that. Shaloite noyach lichais, do not be a person that is easy and quick to anger. And there you go, once again, the person who is quick to anger, the person who allows himself to get eaten up alive in a fit of rage, he has allowed a strange and foreign God to enter inside of him. Okay, we're just beginning over here. There's so much more to learn. A person can begin examining their everyday life and see the areas where they get angry and begin to ask themselves, what am I getting angry for? Why am I getting enraged? Why am I screaming and yelling? Why is the smoke coming out of my nose and the veins are popping out of my neck right now? Why am I doing that? I believe in Hashem. If I would believe in Hashem, I wouldn't do this. I would stay calm and I would understand that everything that is happening in my life is orchestrated by the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam and it's all here to help me, not to hurt me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.